Hi welcome to 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 learn interesting facts about arun jetli arun jetli indian lawyer politician and government official who served as a leader of the bharatiya janata party in the rajya sabha in 2009 to 14 in 2014 he joined the cabinet of the bjp led government of prime minister narendra modi jetli was known as an eloquent speaker and his political and professional career was largely non controversial let's see some quick information name arun jetli date of birth 28 december 1952 place of birth new delhi father's name maharaj kishan jetli mother's name ratan prabha jetli spouse name sankita jetli children son rohan and daughter sonali education bcom from shri ram college of commerce new delhi and llb from delhi university occupation lawyer and politician let's see some lesser known facts about arun jetli which you did not know arun jetli was born on 28 december 1952 in the family of maharaja kishan jetli and ratan prabha jetli in new delhi on 24th may 1982 he married to sangeeta jetli and has a son rohan and a daughter sonali arun jetli did his schooling at saint xavier school new delhi from 1960 to 69 Arun Jetli completed his graduation in commerce from Sri Ram College of Commerce and did his post graduate in law from the Delhi University. Jetli held various political positions like finance minister, minister of defense, minister of corporate affairs, minister of information and broadcasting, leader of opposition Rajya Sabha Minister of Law and Justice and Leader of the House Rajya Sabha During the proclamation of internal emergency 1975 to 77 civil liberties were suspended and Jetli was also placed under preventive detention first in the Ambala jail and then in the Tihar jail Delhi In 1977 he was the convener of the Loktantrik Yuva Morcha Jetli went to jail during this time After coming out of jail Jetli joined Jan Sang and became ABVP president of Delhi in 1984 and also All India Secretary of ABVP He then became youth wing president in 1980 after the formation of BJP and the struggle for the emergence of BJP as in India. He was chief strategy planner of BJP for the 2014 election and was one of the reason for the massive victory. Arun Jetli was fond of cricket and he had also served as president of ddca and also a vice president of bcci before resigning in 2014 in june 1998 arun jetli was a delegate on behalf of the government of india to the united nations general assembly session where decisions regarding declaration on laws related to drugs and money laundering was approved Virendra Sehwag and Gautam Gambhir are his favorite cricketers. Arun Jetli stopped practicing law in around 2009. In 2014 he contested direct election for the first time 
but lost to Congress leader Amrinder Singh from Amritsar seat. He has also appeared on behalf of multinational giants like Coca-Cola and PepsiCo in India. Under Atal Bihari Vajpayee and LK Advani, BJP was working hard and Arjun Jetli was given the task to transform youth brigade of BJP into mature politicians. He also looked up to Atal Bihari Vajpayee who constantly inspired him. Arun Jetli also practiced in Supreme Court of India. Arun Jetli proved his worth very well. He became chief strategy of BJP after the death of Pramod Mahajan and Atal Bihari was by statement. When Arun Jetli was the finance minister, Modi government was able to take some crucial economic initiatives like demonetization and implementation of the good and service tax simply called GST. During Jetli's supervision, the Modi government merged the railway budget with the general budget. For resolving the issues with companies, he introduced insolvency and bankruptcy code. In recent times, ABC played a crucial role in the corporate sector. In the Delhi High Court, he was designated as a senior advocate in January 1990. In 1989, he was appointed as an additional solicitor general. He set up Advocates Welfare Fund and Investor Protection Fund. In 2002, Arjun Jetli successfully introduced the Eighth Amendment of the Constitution of India for freezing parliamentary seats till 2026. He held important portfolios like Law and Justice, Information and Broadcasting and also Minister of State for Disinvestment during Atal Bihari Vajpayee regime in 1999. He remained one of the most trusted aides of Atal Bihari Vajpayee who promoted him to cabinet rank only after a year. We hope above information will really interesting to you. Thanks for watching. Thank you.